one day, this young guy came into the pharmacy, clearly agitated. He was talking so fast. He was a first-year university student at U of T from Sudbury, living on his own for the first time. He told me that he had epilepsy and he needed to be on medication, but he left his Divalprox sodium in his knapsack on the subway, and he had no refills left. He had tried calling his parents, but they were away in Florida. And his doctor, who's also from Sudbury, wouldn't be back in the office until the end of the week. His mother usually filled his prescription for him at a pharmacy near their house. The poor kid didn't know what to do or how he was going to get his medication. I had a choice to make. To help this fellow, which would involve a lot of work, or I had to tell him that I could not help him. Yet if I choose to do nothing, I knew I owned some responsibility if he had a seizure. I had to think about the best way to help this patient. I felt pretty sure that as long as I documented what I did and why, and made it clear that my actions were in the best interest of the patient, everything would be fine. A young mom came into my store one Saturday night of a long weekend, just after nine. She had a little boy with her. I could tell by looking at her that she was both exhausted and frazzled. She had a prescription for amoxicillin for her son. But when I looked at the dose, it was clearly too high for the child. I told the mom that I wanted to call the doctor about the dose. But then, when I tried calling the clinic, I found out that they were closed for the night and wouldn't reopen until Tuesday. Before expanded scope, I would have had to tell the woman to go to another clinic for a new prescription, or maybe even to the emergency room, which would have been a huge burden to her and her child. However, with our current scope, I knew that I could adapt the prescription for her and make sure that the dose was right for the boy according to his weight. Then, I could let the doctor know what I had done. I could make an autonomous decision and help this boy and his mom. It was both exciting and nerve-wracking. I knew I had to make the dose adjustment, but I lacked a little bit of confidence doing it all on my own. But I knew it was the right thing to do.